I just found a brand new AI tool that allows you to scrape anything that you could think of. For example, Zillow, Google Maps, social media, Amazon, and so much more. And you don't just have to use these for individual scrapes. You can actually build businesses that are powered by Appify in the background. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use this tool and several crazy use cases that you could use this for. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is gonna be Appify.com because this allows you to get web data and build automations like crazy. And as you can see right here, you could use this for so many different things. So in order to get started, you're gonna click on go to console right here and you could see that I literally use this hundreds of times every day. In fact, this is literally just the last few hours. I've used it like a dozen different times because this is so powerful. Now, in order to get started, you're going to want to come over to Appify store right here, and then you'll be able to search through all the different tools that they have. They have ones for e-commerce, they have ones for SEO, or you could just search through things individually. For example, let's say you want to do something with Facebook ads, just type that in. You want to do something with Instagram? Just type that in. You want to do something with Zillow? Just type that in. And then you'll find all these different tools that you're going to be able to use. And they each walk you through exactly how to use them. For example, if we come over here and type in TikTok, we could see that this right here is a TikTok shop scraper. And we could click on this right here. And it will literally walk you through exactly how to actually use this. We could see right here that you just add in shop links. You tell it how many outputs you want. Come over here to run options. And then you click on run. And this goes off and this actually does this for you. Now, what I also wanted to show you is a bunch of other different things that you could do here. For example, if I come into save tasks right here, we could see this. I use this every single morning in order to find out what's trending in my niche on TikTok. If we come into this right here, we could see that I have a bunch of different save tasks. So I have saved ones for Facebook, for Instagram, for TikTok, because I use these the most. So if I actually click on this right here, we could come in here and see what this does. So I uploaded into here all of my different competitors' usernames on TikTok. And then what I could do is I can click on start right here, and this goes through, and this actually runs and figures out all the different things that are actually going to be trending in my niche because it looks at all of my competitors and then it's going to get all of that information and then give it back to me in a JSON file. And we can see right here that this happens incredibly quickly. And what I'd like to do with this is do this. I always come over to ChatGPT and I say, please find the top five URLs from this. And then what this is going to do is we'll be able to come back over here. We could see that this is almost done. Once it actually is done, we'll see that it went through and it did this and I could come over here and I could grab the JSON from this. So I'm gonna grab this. I am then going to put this into ChatGPT and then literally in seconds, I know exactly what's trending in my niche and what I should actually create content on. It goes through and actually ranks these by views, gives me the URL and now I could go through and I could look at them. Now, I just did this manually to show you how this actually works, but what you could do is you could actually come over here and you could schedule this out so it happens whenever you want it to. And then on top of that, you could come over here into integrations and you can actually see that you can set up integrations so it can process things with an LLM. You could have it save things to your Google Drive and there are so many other things that you could do. In order to actually do that, all you're gonna do is you are gonna come into this specific actor. You are gonna come over here into integrations and you'll be able to see right here that you could integrate this with a ton of different things. If we click on add integrations, you could see every Thing that you could do here. You could have it automatically send messages on Slack with the data. You could integrate this with Make. You could integrate this with Gmail. You could integrate this with Google Drive. And you could also integrate this with other different things here, which is absolutely insane because this allows you to take data that's out there on the internet and be able to have it for your own use inside of an LLM, inside of an app, or wherever else you actually want to use it. In addition to that, if we come over here into storage, we'll be able to see that all of these different runs are now going to get stored here, which is incredibly powerful. And we could come over here to save tasks. So let's say that for TikTok, I have this set up for myself. I have this set up for a client. I have this set up for somebody else. I could just come over here and save it as multiple different tasks with different names so that the input is always going to stay the same, which is incredibly useful and is incredibly powerful. But I don't want you to just think that this is for coming over here, finding an actor, and then having you go off and actually do something with it because it's way more powerful than that. You could actually build out businesses, websites, and automations 
that use this. Now, before I show you some of the crazy use cases that you could use this for, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Appify today for free. On top of that, if you're gonna get a paid plan, please use code 20ROBERT and you're gonna get 20% off, but I will warn you, there are only 50 of those codes available, so you are gonna wanna use them quick. I personally use this tool every single day and I think that you're gonna love it too. So use case number one here is actually going through and building out tools and building out websites and building out services that other people can use that are powered by Appify in the background. So if we come over to contentbuddy.ai, this is actually how this runs. So let's say that we come over here and we click on the best time to post tool for Instagram. If we come over here, we could see that very easily, we can actually submit an email and then different competitors here. And then what this is going to do is email us the best time to post for our niche on Instagram based on when our competitors are posting. But here's what's actually happening. In the background, this form over here on Content Buddy is actually sending a webhook over to Make. This is then processing this inside of ChatGPT. We could see that an Appify actor is getting hit right here. It's then waiting so that the run can process. It's getting that data set. And then it's actually come over here. It's processing it and then sending out the email here. And we could see that that is why all of these different hits right here are coming from Make. So these are all a bunch of different automations that are powering a website that I built. And guess what? The whole entire thing runs because of Appify, connect to a webhook and connect to an automation. And you don't have to just do this for social media. You could do this for anything that you could think of. For example, let's say that we wanted to come over here and we wanted to do something with real estate. So we could come over here and we could click on Zillow zip code search scraper. And what this is going to allow us to do is now insert all of these different zip codes and we can put in a maximum price. We could put in a minimum price. So I'm gonna put as a maximum price, I'm gonna put 650 grand. As a minimum, I'm gonna put 500,000 here. I believe that that is 500,000. Yep, and we want to be able to scrape things that have been on Zillow for more than six months. And then we want to do for sale by agent. We could do for sale by owner if we wanted to. We could do for rent. We could do sold. Now we click on save and start here. And this is going to go through and this is actually going to run this. Now I want you to think about how powerful this is and all those different options that you had. Because essentially what you could do is build a tool that is going to have this in the background where people can automatically find out what's for sale in their neighborhood, what comps are in their neighborhood. And it's way more powerful than them going to Zillow in order to do this because they could actually just do a search here on the internet and find out very easily exactly what is for sale, who the broker is. We have all the information right here. And actually, if we come under all fields right here, this gives you a ton of incredibly useful information that you could build out an automation with. And again, it doesn't just have to be for Zillow. There are tons of different actors for tons of different use cases here. Which brings me to use case number two, which is how I wanna show you how people are using this in order to actually get creative briefs. So if we come over here and we type in Facebook ads right here, we could see that there is this scraper right here. Now, I've done this run a few times, but essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ads library to one of your competitors, you are gonna put it in here, and then this goes through and actually runs. And then what you could do with that data that you get is you could download it right here. For example, we got this data set right here, which we can see. And then I uploaded this into a tool, Deep Agent, but you could do this with ChatGPT. You could do this with Claude. You could do this with so many other tools. And it says, I want a full creative brief from the ads that I'm attaching below to help my team make better ad creative for meta. Now in the past, this would have been incredibly manual for somebody to go through and look at all the different ads that this brand was running because they are literally running about 50 ads, but AI can do it in minutes. And then I want you to see the output that we actually got from this. This right here goes through a bunch of different key findings, bunch of different classifications. It breaks down all the different content analysis of all of these different videos, gives us insights like timing and duration, different call to actions, different themes. And then this goes through and actually made a PDF that is multiple pages long for breaking down each one of these, how long the ad was, what the hook was, what the classification was, what the concept was, what the key feature. And then you could actually give all of this information to your creative department, or you could feed it back into AI and it can go ahead and generate ads off of that.
Now that third way that I wanted to show you of how do you could use this is if we come over here to store, and I think you guys are really going to love this. If we come over here and type in craft slash lead finder, or more specifically, let's just type in lead finder right here. This will show you a bunch of different tools that you could use in order to find leads. For example, if we click on this right here, we could choose how many leads this is going to get us. I'm just going to put 25 and we could actually search by job title, by location, by email status, by company website, by size, by industry, by keywords, by revenue, by funding. There's so many different things that we could go through. So I want us to find 25 leads. I want these leads to have to do with, we're gonna add in here, nurse, and then I'm also gonna put nurse practitioner. I'm gonna click on bulk edit because this is just a little bit easier. Practitioner, and then we are going to fix the spelling on this. We're gonna click on set and then save and start. And this is going to go through and this is going to find us leads based on that. But you could do this for any type of leads that you possibly want. And then again, you could have this stored in your Google Drive. You could hook it up to the rest of the AI tools that you use with all the data that it gives you. And guess what you could do from that? Have it craft personalized messages and then automatically send out emails to all these new leads that you got. Now this actually went through and got us a ton of useful information here about their LinkedIn, their job title, their industry, headlines, and so much more, again, which is incredibly useful if you are trying to find leads in a specific industry because this allows you to do that incredibly quickly and I want you to think about this. I just got 25 leads for six cents using this tool. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through how to build out a bunch of different automations using Zapier and Appify. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.